in an era where the world lauded precision engineering and unsurpassed manufacturing prowess, Germany once stood tall, unparalleled. But times have changed. The cornerstone of Europe's economic bulwark now appears to be trembling. The question we must address is, is the industrial giant of Europe facing a precipitous decline, or is this just a momentary setback? To recall the times when the word auto conjured images of sleek, German-engineered vehicles speeding on the autobahns, when the term am manufacturing was synonymous with German precision and quality. That golden age seems to be waning, replaced by uncertain times and challenging trade winds. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative project changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now let's begin. The global stage has evolved. The dynamics of trade and technological advances are altering the way nations interact, compete, and depend on one another. And Germany's position, once unassailable, now seems to be on shockier ground. While Germany's past reliance on China as a trading partner supercharged its recovery post-financial crisis, this association is undergoing strain. Germany's exports to China fell by 7.1 in January. The landscape of this partnership is changing. Concurrently, Germany's exports to the United States have surged, making one wonder if a shift in allegiances is imminent. The automotive industry, a cornerstone of Germany's industrial legacy, has faced a jolt. Not only have recent figures shown a decline, but stalwarts like Volkswagen are also feeling the pinch, especially in pivotal markets like China. With these challenges arises the inevitable question. Is Germany, the industrial behemoth of yesteryears, truly in decline? Or is this a mere recalibration? While some critics might suggest that Germany is on a downward spiral, attributing its woes to recent policy decisions and external factors, it's essential to look at the larger picture. Yes, challenges abound. Inflation is soaring, the after-effects of the energy price shock linger, and the demand from global giants like the U.S. and China has softened. The naysayers, quick to label Germany as the sick man of Europe, might be hasty in their judgment. It's essential to understand that economic juggernauts, much like colossal ships, take time to change direction. And change, as we know, is inevitable. Chancellor Scholes offers a fresh perspective, a vision where Germany is greener, more sustainable, and primed for the future. He imagines a future where the transition to a climate-neutral economy sparks growth reminiscent of the golden era in the 1950s and 60s. This green transition, though undoubtedly capital-intensive in the short term, might be the key to rejuvenate Germany's industrial engine in the long run. By focusing on renewable energy, electric vehicles, and cleaner industrial processes, Germany might once again pave the way for the world to follow. Yes, sectors like real estate and specific industries might be facing recessionary pressures. But let's not forget, recessions, much like storms, are cyclical. They're followed by periods of growth, rejuvenation, and prosperity. So, is Germany truly in decline? Or is this a phase of introspection and recalibration? It's crucial, amidst the cacophony of criticisms, to remember that Germany's industrial prowess wasn't built in a day. It was the result of relentless innovation, adaptability, and foresight. And these very qualities might be the key for the nation to navigate through these turbulent times as we analyze the economic indicators and juxtapose them with the vision of leaders like Scholes. The future might not be as bleak as some project. Germany might be reeling, but it's far from out as the story of Germany's economic trajectory continues to unfold. One thing remains clear. Writing off this European powerhouse would be premature. With a legacy of resilience and innovation, Germany has the potential to re-emerge stronger, wiser, and ready for the challenges of the new world order. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. Firms are looking to diversify, innovate, or even capitalize on specific trends to remain relevant. For instance, while the automotive industry in Germany grapples with changes, there's been a surge in demand for electric vehicles and renewable energy solutions. Talking about silver linings, Germany's prowess in technology and innovation has made it a hub for startups, especially in the green and tech sectors. 
Berlin, for instance, has turned into a European startup hotspot with numerous young companies thriving and growing at a rapid pace. Remember how we said earlier about Germany's legendary precision engineering. This innate trait of meticulousness and attention to detail could become Germany's saving grace. As the world is moving rapidly towards AI, big data, and automation, Germany's potential to lead in these sectors, given its strong engineering base, cannot be overlooked. Let me ask you this. If a nation has been an industrial powerhouse for decades, can it reinvent itself in the face of changing global dynamics? And here's the answer. It's not just about reinvention. It's about adaptation and resilience. Germany, despite the setbacks, has the tools, the expertise, and the mindset to adapt and grow. Yes, there's criticism over Germany's dependency on China. China, which was once a gateway for Germany's industrial rise, seems to be slowly turning into a competitor. But isn't that the very essence of global trade dynamics? Partners today can be rivals tomorrow. It's a complex tapestry. On one hand, you have the sheer economic might of China, which is increasingly becoming assertive. On the other hand, Germany has its own legacy of excellence in manufacturing, tech innovation, and sustainability. The crux lies in balancing. Germany's vision, as mentioned by Chancellor Olaf Scholz, isn't about decoupling from China but rather de-risking. It's about understanding the thin line between reliance and dependency, collaboration and competition. The questions surrounding Germany's industrial future are numerous and the road ahead may seem daunting. Yes, certain sectors are experiencing downturns and challenges are aplenty. Yet it's essential to remember Germany's past achievements, resilience, and the nation's ability to pivot and innovate. For the German giants like Volkswagen and Siemens, the Chinese market might seem alluring. But diversifying their horizons, tapping into new markets, and investing in innovation can open doors to numerous other opportunities. After all, isn't innovation the best form of defense in a rapidly changing global market? So, as we reflect on the economic tides, we must remember that the tide that takes away can also bring treasures ashore. Germany, with its history of excellence, innovation, and resilience, has the potential to steer its ship effectively through these turbulent waters. While the challenges are undeniable, Germany's industrial prowess is far from over. It's a new chapter, perhaps more challenging, but filled with opportunities for growth, transformation, and resurgence. We've seen Germany rise before, and there's every reason to believe it will rise again. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Or subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.